because actually teaching people a skill, hands-on examples, how FEA is done, is I think, I think something which is very, very valuable. But we also have to say, maybe you disagree, is that a course can only guide you in some sense, but it doesn't make you an expert overnight, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. how, do, how do you approach that problem? Because the 10 years of the, the decade of experience that you gathered, putting it into one course, like people taking that course, they can't become Lukash, a second Lukash overnight, obviously. How do you see that? Well, first of all, if this would work this way, it would be way more expensive. But um, uh, jokes aside, uh, of course, what you can't teach is experience. Mm. And this doesn't mean that learning makes no sense, because like if, if learning made no sense and only experience count, everybody would be doing everything till they learn. And this is not how it's done. So I would divide the skill set into two points. The first one is experience. And this is something everybody has to gain on their own. And this is just the fact that um, whatever you learn, whatever the way, it only is learned when you actually had to face a problem that was so difficult that you were uncertain if you can solve it and you solved it. Mm -hmm. And this is why if you would like ask a PhD researcher or someone who te teaching uh, university, as I did, they, they would tell you that they learn the most in the first three years of teaching, because it's the questions of the students that on the spot in this stressful situation forced you to understand something. And there is no way, like I can tell you my experience, I can explain what I understood, but it won't make this aha moment which I remember a few of, at least like all the funny stories in my blog and courses when I explain stuff in a goofy way, I actually came up with this sto those stories on a spot because someone asked me a question I didn't know the answer to. And I was like improvising as I go to figure out how it works. And I can tell you the story, but the process that happens when it clicks in you, it's something you will have to discover on your own. And there is no way to do it the other way. Although knowing the story makes it so much easier because while I remember the stories that I spun up and explain and they finished in a conclusion that was okay. I also remember stories that ended with, oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. And that's like, this is what you're missing. Like you, you just get the solution, but it, it's not a complete thing. However, learning also means that you need to be aware of things. Because the experience in itself is valuable, valuable only if you can like tie it to something you know, right? Because you can experience something and it doesn't give you any magical skills. Mm -hmm. But if you have the skills and you have an experience, the experience connected with the skills and understanding of things make you an expert. And those skills and the knowledge is actually transferable. And this is what I do in the course. So I can tell you, look, you don't have to spend three years as I did like randomly clicking stuff and figuring things out and, and being frustrated day in and day out to, to finish it, I can tell you straight out, you have to do it this way, this way, and this way. This, this works and this doesn't because of that. This works and this doesn't because of whatever. But I have a certain experience you won't have, and that is that I know every error message in the software I use because I encountered all of them several times before I successfully calculated something for the first time. Mm -hmm. And this means that if I'm running a training and some other software throws a certain, like random error of some sort, I have something to tie this to. I don't know what was done wrongly by the participant, but by looking by the error message, I think like when I last saw this, and there was a time in my life when I did, yeah. and when you know how to do it properly, you haven't seen that. So that's like, you have the skill to do it, but the experience will grow in time. But uh, it's way easier to have the experience when you actually have the skills to use to gain the experience, because otherwise you're just alone in the woods in the dark and you're just stumbling around without a map of some sort, right? Yeah. But it's still you that has to get to the finish line in some sense. 